Hey everyone, today is all about Airtel and 5G. Technically, Airtel, but more 5G. I know I usually make videos that center around my viewers in the US and the UK, but even Airtel users in India can't really relate to this either because I don't really think Airtel India uses this particular product. Yeah, this is Airtel Nigeria. Yeah, because that's where I live and I have constant network issues and constant network needs. You know how they take life is you just need to be on the internet 247. Exactly. And MTN is a pain in my ass. Yeah. Because MTN is always making me need to turn on and turn off my airplane mode. Come on, I can't be doing that. So I needed something reliable and I couldn't buy Starlink yet. Don't worry, sometime next year I will and I'll review it here. I promise. But no now. Yeah, my money isn't complete yet. So I was like all right, Etel has a 5G smart box that comes with unlimited bundles and other kind of perks and this and that. So I was like, let me give it a try and give you guys my documented detailed review about it. You might also want to give my sub button a try. The boxing experience is quite very reasonable for something that is priced around 50,000 Naira. Yeah, it's very easy to open. There is not much talk here. You see everything you need instantly. Yeah, it comes with this warranty card, the user manual, and you know, the Ethernet cable, the charging adapter, the box, and the router itself. And then the box, that's the white power bank-ish box, is around 36 watt hours, which to me is the equivalent of what you get on a 10,000 milliampere hour power bank exactly so to me it's quite bigger than the usual 18.5 i get on the smaller ones that come with the mtn routers yeah i don't know if the mtn 5g comes with that bigger one though but i know this is quite big supports you know this has more power requirements than the regular 4g routers yeah because it has 5g nsa 5g sa that's non-standalone and standalone it also has 4g plus yeah and it's capable of delivering up to one gigabit per second for 5g standalone although we don't get that here Let's talk about the router itself. This has a plastic build, it's quite light, you know, strength to weight ratio. Yeah, plastic also helps with the thermals, although plastic is an insulator, so you might want to be aware of that. It also has three LAN Ethernet ports behind its 12 volts, 24 amps adapter, or that through directly to the wall or like through your power pack or your power bank. Yeah, and it has one wet connector, I have no idea whatever that is yeah it also has a bottom side here where you get a type c that has no function and the sim card slots yeah it is a nano sim that comes with the router in the box you get a sim and you know the register is for you upon purchase yeah and it's all 50k yeah so technically what does this support 4g 4g plus 5g not standalone and 5g standalone 5G non standalone is what most countries that are broke like mine use. It's basically 5G that emulates itself on a 4G radio. I don't know if I got that right, but I know it's 5G that uses 4G radio to like make itself work. You know, it's like buying a MacBook, running Mac OS, and then running Windows on it. I'll call it Windows non standalone because it's Windows that depends on Mac OS to run. And definitely Windows that runs as its own software 
or else we would be standing there and it will be more powerful than that which is running on another OS you get so it's like virtualized 5G on a 4G network it also supports 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz means you know lower range faster connection yeah it's more favorable when you are very very close to where you keep this in your house or your room or whatever while the 2.4 gigahertz is more favorable for like you know reasonable all-around connection with a wider range yeah so if you're a bit maybe two rooms away from this you might want to use the 2.4 gigahertz for me i just turned on the 5 gigahertz optimization in the setup page yeah that is like an adaptive 5 and 2.4 depending on device connecting yeah it's much more efficient than having to have two different places to connect it supports wi-fi 6 802.11 ax ac b g n yeah wi-fi 6 is ax yeah so if you have like an iphone 12 11 and later and you have you know a solid 11th gen windows laptop or an Apple Silicon MacBook, you should get Wi-Fi 6, 6E, Wi-Fi 7, regardless of which of them you get. Yeah, but this Wi-Fi 6, so that's what you need to get, you know, the full power of this. I know you guys are dying to see this speed test. Well, I ran a couple speed tests. I ran one on my MacBook, one on my phone. They both support Wi-Fi 6, so I think this is quite accurate. And lucky for me, I get around 2 bars of 5G NSA in my bedroom here. Yeah, so you can actually get to see the speeds on a 5G network. Also, you get the latency, yeah, so check out the speed and the latency and let me know what you think in the comment section. Overall, honestly, I would say go for it, yeah. I bought this barely a week ago and I haven't had any negative complaints yet. Yeah, it's perfect. And it's even the black one I got, yeah. I would advise to get the black one because it's more common in the white build and white finish and, you know, that's more of a stain magnet than the black one, obviously, yeah. And this looks better when i place it beside you know my mic yeah on my desk or my phone holder or my remotes <laughs> yeah even my tripod is black yeah so black matches everything all right let me know your thoughts and comments or you know you have any questions about it feel free to hit me up and for the nigerians among you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel yeah you know i'm here for tech and i'm here to stay